I wrote this poem for Evgeny Plushenko. Um, really, the, after I watched him injured uh, in the ice skating uh, championship uh, in Sochi, and um, it was very, very moving and very, very sad to watch somebody who is so brilliant and so powerful um, find himself unable to continue. And in a sense, his the body's betrayal is a story about our lives um, as as people who grow older. And um, and I've always found that to be one of the beauties of sports uh, for metaphors for life in general. So I call this poem very simply, Evgeny Plushenko. Eventually, the body will surrender. Sometimes silently, stoically, panting like a faithful dog, willing to obey desperate to do what we want. But the surgeries, the battering, the wounds we have seen mark their tattoos of decay will eventually overwhelm even the most noble of flesh, and it will be us, heart on hand, the heavy throb of nerves screeching in our vertebrae, the numbing in our legs as if the ice has risen from the rink surface and embraced us, while the nation of devoted sigh, the collective sigh of dismay, the way that death betrays our illusions of power, it will be us skating with the slow, broken slump to the officials to say, no more, no more before the departure. We know the deep gloom in the air when the truth of our body's decline is read out to the world. We know this from those leapers and acrobats, those sprinters and dancers, all of us become the limping shadows of all that is elegant in the body's engineering. But how lovely it is to have deep in our brains healing that grand jumbotrum replaying in loops that long history of our most persistent aliveness, the track of our flight, our bodies obedient to the mind's command. Sometimes this is all that keeps us going as we answer the eye. I am human, I've always been human, and I will die human.